Good morning, Harmony Theater. Jenny B here, coming to you from my classroom. Well, not exactly. Because of distance learning and wanting everyone to stay safe and healthy, I'm actually in my basement. I've turned it into a kindergarten classroom so I can keep working with my students. I do reading and writing and math right here from my basement. And I talk to a video camera and a microphone and I send it out to all my friends, just like I'm working with you. Each week, we're hoping to do a little video for Facebook to say hi and we miss you and to do something that's sort of harmony related. Last week, you got to dance with Christina and that's not my thing. But this week, I'm gonna to try to do something that we would do during rotation. We like to draw and make cards, play games. So today we're gonna to do some drawing. I tried this with my students. It's called guided drawing. I'm gonna tell you the step-by-steps of what to do. And when we're done, we'll all have an awesome picture. So if you wanna pause the video here to grab some paper and markers or pens, I'll wait. Okay, I hope you're all back. <laughs> We're going to get started. I'm going to use a dry erase board and a dry erase marker because it's just what works best for me. Today, we're going to make a spring, pic spring picture of a chick. My friend is raising some chicks to have eggs at her house. And I've been watching videos every day of the tiny chicks pee pee peeping along in their heated lamps. It's so much fun to watch. And it inspired me to do chicks today. So to start your drawing, you're going to hold your paper up and down. And you're going to make a large arc sort of like a rainbow, like the first band of a rainbow. And then you're going to connect the two feet at the bottom. So that's the beginning of our chick. The next step is the eyes. You get two little eyes all the way up at the top of the arch. The next thing that this chick needs is a beak. So we're going to draw a large diamond in the center of the arch and then draw a line through the center. Are you starting to see the chick? So cute. Next, the chick needs legs. So you're going to draw two straight lines down from the bottom and then give them some squiggly toes. The next part is to make cheeks. Now, if you wanted to color this in, it could be pink or red, but that kind of gives his face a little bit of cute chicky faceness. We just need a few more steps. The next is to draw a tail. I draw the tail over on this side and it's kind of a sideways heart shape. Can you see the heart? Just kind of on its side. The last step is to draw some little fluff up top to make some feathery fluff and maybe some ground. And you've got yourself an adorable little chick. I hope you had fun drawing along with me. It wasn't a dance, but it was something to do. <laughs> I hope you have a great week. We love you and we miss you, and we will talk to you again soon. Have a great day, everyone.